Hello guys, this is this is Lee Vlogging here with the fifth episode of Lee Vlogging's lighter side of the news. Maybe you wonder what the hell I'm talking about. Which is this is the online web series which takes the funniest and strangest news stories from around the world and mashes them all up into one video. So there's no doom and gloom here and definitely nothing about the economy. Now today's show I'm going to be talking about how a girl had an absolute terror on a train track and how Paul the psychic octopus is to get a statue. But first we're going to be talking about how police in Colombia found a drug smuggling, now you're not going to believe this, pigeon. Yes, that is correct. Police in Bacramanga, yes I'm not can't pronounce it, but it's somewhere in the northeast of the country, catching the animal outside a prison. It was captured after they found its odour of marijuana far too heavy. The flight plan was faulted because of the illegal excess luggage and two policemen were able to catch the bird as it flapped helplessly outside a house. Colombian drug smugglers have not, I've actually gone through things like this before uh, into, to, uh, ways to get uh, drugs into prison after they had the idea of having a parrot to be trained to act like a lookalike. Yes. I think these people must be really dressed up for a joint of weed if this is the kind of measures that they're going to go to just to get drugs into the prison. Right. Anyway, let's move on to the next story. Let's get to the right page here because I've got it all out in front of me. The next story I'm going to be talking about is the moment a mother lowered her daughter onto a railway track right in front of a train. It has been caught on CCTV. There'll be a link below where you can go and watch this video in the CCTV. The girl survived the ugly because there was a hot, there was a hundo, a, a hollow underneath. There was a wee gap underneath the platform which you just hide in where this plane came. It unfolded in Punos Arias, Argentina. Uh, when the mother tried to avoid being caught by ticket collectors, now it's a post this is a thing that happens a lot in Argentina. I don't know if any of you people are from Argentina and if you've been involved in anything like this. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of strange, I must say, that why we would really want to risk your daughter's life. Uh, I think I'd rather just pay the fare. I don't know. Anyway, the last story that I'm going to talk about today is that Paul, the Hipster Oct Octopus. Now this is a, uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, see Paul uh, is a psychic octopus from the German world. Uh, uh, he would uh, predict what the results of the match were going to be that Germany were involved in in the South African World Cup in 2010. Uh, and more, as you know, he's now sadly passed away. Uh, but uh, a memorial now. Uh, has been unveiled in the zoo where he's from, eh? It's, it's been at the Sea Life Aquarium in Oberhausen, Germany. I don't know why I've put, uh, chose all the stories to talk about, there's weird places in the name anyway. It's a six foot high plastic replica of Paul clutching a ball and his eight limbs also holds his crowded ashes inside the urn, inside the ball. Which I think is a cool idea. I don't know, it's quite a cool, eh? It made us some requests from fans around the world, according to sportsman Tanja Mazang said. He died peacefully in uh, autumn, by the way. Anyway, that is all I've got to say today, guys, for Leave Muir, not Leave Muir, Leave Vlogging's uh, latest side of the news. I will do another episode sometime this week, probably about Tuesday or something like that, so we'll make sure you subscribe for that. And yeah, that's all I've got to say today, guys, so yeah, peace out, watch it from the video maybe later, I don't know. Bye, guys, bye.